Klitschewskaya volcano is the highest volcano in the Eurasia and probably one of the most or the most important volcano in the northern hemisphere because it affects the aviation. Kamchatka Peninsula of the Russia houses many of these volcanoes. Klitschewskaya was covered in this channel for many months now and we have been reporting every activity of this volcano including other volcanoes also in that area. These are some of them. As you can see, as the time goes by, this uh, volcano became more and more active and violent and in a way more eruptive. And today we had this, the huge eruption of the Klitschewskaya sending an ash cloud 13 kilometers, one three kilometers to the uh, troposphere. That's the boundary between the Earth's lowest uh, layer and the top layer, where the heat inversion causes the cloud not to be able to go through it unless it has a high velocity. Some of the biggest eruptions can send that ash that far with the highest speed. But if they cannot pass the thermal barrier, they don't have enough speed, they will not go through that. This volcano at the moment is reaching the troposphere near the stratosphere. It may eventually pass there. We have to wait and see. At the moment, the ash clouds is moving toward the south uh, east and eastward gradually. Where is Canada and United States of America and Northern Hemisphere? Eventually, it may end up in somewhere in Iceland or uh, in the Europe even and the rest of the Asia from that side, from the eastward of the Pacific. As you can see, it's very eruptive. It's sent a plane and the style eruption. This is the map, location map of the Russia, Kamchatka and the Klochevskaya are in the red here. You can see it. I've marked it here also. You can see many volcanoes exist in this area. Sulfur dioxide signature of it shows that it's moving toward Alaska and Canada. It is very similar in that sense to what happened in the St. Helens. We lost the top of the volcano. This was the, before the digital age, so we have only a few images of that. We worked through the computer to make it more animated in that sense. But it is shows when you lose the top of a volcano and you remove the pressure, the volcano actually may erupt sooner than what it is. We are not able yet to see what is happening to the Klitschewska because it's yet erupting. But if it loses enough mass, it may go St. Helens. It may eventually blow up the, completely the top, lose amount, uh, uh, um, an amount of the height.